Let's just do a simple box crib underneath the passenger side. To most people, that sounds like gibberish. But for those trapped in a wrecked vehicle, it's a statement of salvation because it means help is on the way. We start at the very beginning. We do a classroom. That was a couple weeks ago. Go through a PowerPoint of the different scenarios that you might respond to and terminology so that when we get out here, we can actually just start cutting on cars. Oh, yeah. You want to remove the molding, make sure there's nothing underneath that that can get us. Pot says the number of traffic accidents has increased in this region of North Dakota, making auto extrication training even more valuable to it younger recruits. Move the car. We're getting newer and newer firefighters, so we're having to start at the basics and work our way through and trying to add a little bit of complexity to the to the training so that everybody gets something out of it. In the next few weeks, the firefighters training will include diving practice, search and rescue, working in confined do? spaces and repelling off high angles. He says they also go through EMS training and in critical times, these practice measures become a reality. Swing it all on the front hinge, pop the door, take out the post and then swing it on the front hinge and then pop it once it's off. The faster we get the patient out, the faster they get to the hospital and um, surgery or whatever needs to be done. And if we can't do our job on the scene, then the patient stays in that car longer than they need to be. And it's detrimental to their health. The training isn't easy, okay. but Pot says that's good. Training never really ends for us. I know it's a cliche, but every day we get to come to work and learn something new. And we get to learn how to do it a little bit different. Mine, it will be adding a fourth battalion in the coming weeks, and those firefighters, too, will Wait, also depend on well. these life-saving measures. In Mine, Bonnie Campo, KX News.